Hello everybody, my name is Richard the Dick Coughlin. I'm here today to introduce you to the best, and quite frankly the only political party worth voting for left in the United Kingdom. Why? Because this is the only political party that guarantees justice for both men and boys at the same time. Oh, and the women who love them. Last month on my backup channel, I made a video which I'll link below, and if you haven't seen it, I suggest you do. It's quite long, but it's very important. And in that video, I talked about this political party, Justice for Men and Boys, brackets, and the women who love them.com, led by a visionary, Michael Buchanan. Now, despite being an obvious political visionary and savior, Michael lacked very, very basic online skills when it came to designing a website and understanding certain things online that you need to do in order to maintain the integrity of your product. As a result of this, I, Richard the Dick Coughlin, made myself, unofficially, off the books, volunteered, the new public relations, image and marketing consultant for online services for the Justice for Men and Boys and the Women Who Love Them Party. And to prove my dedication, to show Mike that I was serious, I went out and I purchased the web domain names justiceformenandboys.com and .co.uk. Why did I do this? Because I realised very quickly that Mike had not done this, and the last thing he needs is some leftist Looney Tune mangina nutter who's hell-bent on doing nothing but making him look stupid, going out and buying the web domain names for his own political party. So I went there and I promised that I would revamp and reinvent and redesign his entire party. Hopefully, nay, guarantee, guarantee, make it electable. Well, it's been a month and it's been a lot of hard work, probably stretched out over a 12-hour period, but we are ready. The website, justiceformenandboys.com, is linked below. I urge you, I urge you to visit it, look around, enjoy it, take it in. Mike, you'll notice, right, it looks good. It's none of, it's not that shitty WordPress stuff that you were using, right? This is a Blogspot account. Mm. So go to it, look at it, like it, Google Plus it, Facebook it, tweet it, share it, follow it, bookmark it, spread it as far and wide as you can, but especially, you must also spread it to Mike Buchanan. He's very easy to contact, not just through online YouTube and Twitter and such, he also gives out his personal home email address and mobile phone number on his old website, and so I've featured them on my one as well, seeing as how it's all legal. Now the website you'll notice is a little bit bare at the moment, there's not too much there, in fact all that's really on there at the moment is the contents of this video, but this is an ongoing process. This isn't a one-off video, I'm not just doing this as a one-off, Just and then I'm going to this isn't a flight of fancy, I believe in this, and so what I'm going to be doing over the next year, you know, because that's how long I've got the domain name, I'm going to be asking you, the people out there in the YouTube universe and myself, will be working together to build and create not just, not just a party, not just a political party, but a product, a brand, and then we are going to spread it around and we're going to let Mike know, we're going to let Mike Buchanan know that he is not alone, even though he is technically the only official member of his party at the moment. However, Michael, this is your chance to relax because I'm going to introduce you to the new leader. Don't worry, you still make all the decisions, Sunshine. Quite frankly, if I'm being honest, Mike, you have a face like a shriveled up gnome taking a sideways shit on a Sunday morning. So, I've had to reinvent, redesign, revamp you, and I've made you look much more respectable and presentable, and I think you are going to enjoy the new face of justiceformenandboys.com and the loyal and dedicated members of staff and cabinet that I have put together for you. So, I hope you enjoy this. Again, ladies and gentlemen, please spread it around and mic. And to everyone else out there, I give you the new and improved leader of the Justice for Men and Boys and the Women Who Love Them Party, legally watertight under laws protecting uh, satire from freedom of speech, the former Mr. Mike Buchanan, now Dr. Michael Filbert Mason Buchanan, GHB. Take it away. Hey there, my fellow... Uh... Fellows, boys and gentlemen, and of course any loyal subordinate women who have been given permission to read this website, but mainly to the men and boys, I have a question for you. How are you feeling today? Don't answer. I already know what it is. You've had enough, haven't you? 
Enough of being a man, or oh boy. Enough of being abused and exploited, of being forced to pay four times more in yearly income tax than women, despite only earning 18% more than them. You're sick of not being allowed to legally force a woman into either having a baby and or abortion just because of so-called human rights and then having to pay for the little and literal bastard that you didn't want in the first place because of so-called responsibilities. You're sick of living every day in fear of being falsely accused of rape by any and indeed every woman you meet or walk past. And of course maybe even being a victim of sperm jacking. You are sick of there being no justice. Well, as of today, I, Dr. Michael Filbert Mason Buchanan, GHB, will be leading the charge with my justice warriors in the war against sexual injustice. We are the sexual justice warriors. My Minister of Communications will be War Corps 666. Who is War Corps 666? Well, believe it or not, that is not a username on the internet. That is his real name. Why was he given that name? Because, as you can easily tell from his genetic misgivings, his parents were not only brother and sister, but Siamese twins who were joined at the rectum and lobotomized at birth. War Corps is also mixed race. His mother was a baboon, and his dad was a man who unfortunately suffered from a disease known as baboon-looking syndrome. War Corps is from the internet, that's all we know, and his rise on YouTube has been absolutely, truly meteoric. By that I mean it's very loud, it has no brain sense of direction, no point, and it's guaranteed to come down crashing in a pile of Mezerian noise. War Corps is, above all else, a self-made man. Not in the business, or the money, or the success sense. He literally is a self-made man. That's an assumption I'm making because he must be the designer and architect of his very own physical creation. Have you ever met anyone whose very existence is the best argument against not only God creationism, but also evolution itself? We know he's a self-made man because nobody, not God, nor four billion years of natural selection are going to take credit for this guy. How do you feel, War Corps? Cut! Brilliant. Looking forward to it. Fuck! Excited? Rape! Anything else to add? Fucking rapey cunt! Fantastic. Smile. Next, I give you a man. My Minister for Crime. He is a man, a literal man, a male man, a human male Mr. Man. He was here vlogging in YouTube from the beginning, and he's still here. He is one of the most well-known and respected men's rights activist vloggers who is currently vlogging on the channel that he himself vlogs on. Known by himself as John the Other. The Other what? The Other who? Other what, I hear you ask? The Other. Not not the main John, not the first one, not the favourite, the better, the great one, not the big one, no, he's the Other John. The John who has stood silently in the shadows, as he bravely chooses not to help women who are getting raped in alleyways, and even admits that he just carries on walking as if nothing has happened. If you are looking for that special, quintessential men's right activist, and a man who has literally been described by his fellow peers as that bald bloke from Canada, I give you John the Other. Are you happy about that, John? You gonna move? Anything, mate, just one th Oh, there he is. And is that it? Is that it? Yeah, oh, there he is, go. A position has not been found for this gentleman, but I have no doubt that I wanna be working alongside Roosh V the world-renowned pickup artist and author of such classic books as Drunk Slags Can't Say No, How I Can Make You Feel Whole Again, that's without the W, <laughs> and of course various other books on DIY such as How to Soundproof Your Basement. In his spare time, Roosh is actually a bit of a hobbyist. He likes to collect barrels of sulfuric acid, industrial-sized freezers, and he has an incredible, extensive collection of 2,467 women's left shoes. Sounds a bit gay. Please remember, though, for your safety, and indeed our own, Roosh will be legally required to wear the classic garland green from Conair, physical restraints, and watch 24 hours a day when at justiceformenandboys.com HQ. Seriously, girls, if you're watching this, don't even fall asleep with watching this video. The man is a fucking hound dog. 
And all jokes about date rape aside, you know, it, hold on, date rape. Roosh v. Roosh v. Roos v. Roo v. Roo v. Roo v. Oh my fucking god. And last, but by no means least, my education czar. Well, now, I'm just going to show you a picture of this guy. Now, this may be hard to believe, ladies and gentlemen, but this, this is a guy who, at the time of this photo, was known as Sir Davis the MJ Orini Esquire I, dds.com, forward slash, I am an alpha male for the win. Now, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I know this might be hard to believe, but he used to be a really, really insecure you know, a guy. He used to be feel really inadequate, self-loathing. No, no, seriously, seriously. He had a real confidence issues to the point where every time he was around anyone or had to present himself to people in any way, shape, or form, he would put on this this really cheesy act of being some kind of suave, stylish, confident, educated, intellectual, and an emotionally complex ladies' man. Everything about him, from his clothes, his mannerisms, his cigarette, the whiskey, the voice, the lighting in his videos, the skulls, the skulls scattered everywhere. He was the absolute pinnacle of a man consumed by pseudo-intellectualism, living at the very apex of all that is pretentious, patience-testing bullshit-munching. He was a proper cunt, but thankfully those days are over. He has learnt to love himself, and he's learnt to be himself just for being himself. Because he's happy just being himself. Who is he? He's just that regular guy. He is Sir King Dr. Davis McBigcock, the MJ Lord, Sex Machine Meanie Miney Motherfucking Orini, the ruler of Testosteronia. <laughs> <laughs> that is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Michael Filbert Mason Buchanan, GHB, for justiceformenandboys.com. Check us out below and spread the word. Spread them, because we're coming soon. Together, we will form the foundation for the future for men and boys and the women who do as they're fucking well told because they love us. Goodbye and stay alpha. Cut!